a uh, performance test between uh, the old uh, speeds had with a uh, Intel Pentium G5400 versus now the uh, Ryzen 5 uh, 3600 on the uh, Samsung SSD 970 EVO Plus 500 gigabytes uh, NVMe uh, M.2 SSD. Let's see if there will be any uh, improvement in the sequential read and uh, write speeds and in the uh, IOPS. So the ones you see down, uh, in my uh, opinion, were low for an for this uh, awesome M.2 uh, SSD. But again, the uh, CPU I had back then was just a dual core with hyper threading from Intel. Let's see if the uh, uh, upgrade in the CPU will make any difference in the uh, speeds of the uh, M.2 SSD. Excuse the uh, out of focus um, issue, but the camera does this when it's uh, recording straight to the desktop monitor. And there we go. What a difference. <laughs> so you can see indeed with the Ryzen 5 uh, 3600 again I didn't change absolutely anything I didn't update the firmware though it was the uh, latest one you can see the uh, read and write speeds jumped from the 800s up into the 35 to 3600 read and uh, 30 to almost 3300 write uh, megabytes per second and also the uh, random IOPS uh, jumped there a bit. But also an uh, addendum, um, if I ran the performance benchmark for the uh, Samsung 970 EVO Plus, um, let's see uh, if there will be any improvement in the read and write speeds of my SATA SSD the uh, Samsung 850 EVO 250 gigabyte version you can see here the uh, sequential read and write speeds are out of the chart again these are made with my last processor the uh, Intel G5400 uh, gold uh, because um, compared to the NVMe um, SSD this um, SATA SSD, regular SSD, um, has enabled the um, rapid mode. Let me just uh, show you. Um, let's. Turn this uh, menu off. You see right here it's uh, select, uh, the rapid mode is uh, on. So this appears only in the uh, 850 EVO, right here, rapid mode on. And when I select the NVMe, you see the NVMe, although it's 970 EVO plus and incredible speeds, the rapid mode is not supported. But uh, even so, let's uh, see if there will be a difference in this uh, really high speeds that are displayed on a regular SSD with rapid mode. But this time, again, with the AMD um, Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. So last time it was in the... 5500s in uh, read speeds and uh, 6000 in the write speeds.
and the IOPS to 181 and the 72,000, right? And uh, these are the results. Okay, so uh, again, um, six thousand in the sequential uh, read and write, um, and then IOPS they uh, decreased a bit. Um, so the improvement is not uh, that big as it was in the uh, NVMe one, but uh, still you can see the uh, the upgrade coming from a dual core with hyper threading to a hexa core with 12 threads again i wish you all the best and i'll catch you in the next one